All right, so in order to build application and dashboard using the data we have in TTS, we are going to use Tago.io. So Tago.io is an IoT platform that I've been using in my recent projects, and it has really impressed me a lot. So you can create simple or complex projects quickly, and it offers a lot of customizations. For example, if I go in a feature that is called Analysis, this is a very nice feature where you can upload your own code to Tago.io and you can create complex, I don't know, flows. And it has also Tago.io CLI, where it's a tool where you can use it to deploy, run, trigger, and debug your analysis. As you can see here, you can install in your console, on your terminal, and play around with the service that Tago has. Um, by the other side, also has custom widget. This is a very interesting uh, feature that Tao has, where you can upload your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, files and with your own widgets. And you can, of course, use the framework that uh, you want to use. For example, you can use React, Vue, and Angular. And this is a very nice feature. You can also use Tagoio API, for example, if you want to see some data from your device, you can only make a request and get data, and you will see an example response something like this. Um, for example, the variable, temperature, and these variables. So if we are talking about the pricing, so Tagoio offers uh, three versions, for example, the free, the starter, and the scale. In our example, or in our project, we are going to use the free version that is enough to us. Uh, you can create five device, five dashboard, and five script for analysis. All right, so in order to create our integration with Tago.io and TTS, the first thing we need to do is go to devices, and then click and add new device. We are going to use this connector, the, the thing industry, and I will call this device ESP32 LoRa number two. And here in the device EUI, you need to return the TTS console, and copy this field and then paste it here and click on new device. After you create your device, you need to generate your authorizations. So click on generate authorizations and I will generate a new one that is called TTS number two. Once you have your authorization, you need to copy this and return your console and here in go to integration and then webhooks and click on add webhook search by tagoio template and here i will put webhook number two and copy the inter copy the tagoio authorizations click on create tagoio webhook and then you need to wait uh, a little bit to see if our web code is working or not. Let's refresh the page. Okay, it's working. Return to our, sorry, our Tagoio. Let's go to our devices and then go to our device ESP32 LoRa number two. To start the inspector, we need to click on here, and we are waiting for the data to arrive. If everything is okay, we should see our data from TTS in the live inspector. Okay, we have a good one here. Uh, you can see the HTTP request, and also the raw payload, and also the resolve of the disconnector payload parser. And here you can see the frequency, the timestamp, and the most important part, our payload that is coming in hexadecimal format. And the next step that we need to do is convert this value and try to make more simple and something that we can read. We will add in this JSON, for example, temperature variable air uh, humidity variable and soil humidity variable so in order to do that we will use the payload parser uh, we need to check this run your own parser 
and let me copy and paste my parser that I had been done. For example, this parser add these variables, soil humidity, temperature, and air humidity, converting our hexadecimal payload to uh, a variables that we can read. So save the changes here. And then if you go to the inspector again, I will clear the data here and waiting for new data from our TTS and then you will see now our HTTP request, our raw payload, our result our, from our connector payload parcel and then the result of our old payload parcel where you can see these variables, result humidity, temperature and air humidity. And now if you go to the data here you also will see our variables. All right, guys, so once we have our device configured in Tago IO and receiving data from our TTS, the next step is wheel our dashboard. So in order to do that, we need to go to add dashboard here. I will call my dash number two and select the type normal and click on create and then click on add widgets and select this widget icon. I will use my device ESP32 LoRa number two. In the variables, I will select temperature. Click on settings, click on icon conditions, and I will use this icon and click on confirm. All right, so I will duplicate this widget also. Let me duplicate it and then I will show another variable that is called air humidity and I will change the icon here uh, probably is also in the last part let me search yeah it's here click on configure click on save all right so let me add a new widget that is from uh, from my solid, I think, or be I made it? No, this is not. And um, no, I will use Angular. Yes, this. Uh, I will select again ESP32 Laura number two, and here the soil humidity. Um, yes, this is great. Okay, I will arrange a little bit here. This in the middle, then my screen. Okay, I will change also the uh, back row. For example, I will use I don't know, this this color. And I will change the color from this uh, widget. And it could be this. This is good. And I will put the title here temperature. Click on save. I will change the title here also. Air humidity. And here soil humidity. Okay and let me apply all the colors to all widgets here okay and also i want to add some graph here let me select this i will select my device the temperature also my device the air and the soil humidity okay um you can create also uh, let me change not reference like I will select yes these options multiple access let me create for temperature I will use this that is centigrade and for heat humidity I will use this that is a uh, this label 
Okay, so click on confirm, click on create. Okay. Now we have our temperature values, humidities, and if you want to see only temperature, you can click on the temperature and see only temperature, or if you want to see only humidity, you can see. Okay, uh, let me add some widget here. Um, let me add a time. Sometimes it's useful to see. I will select my location. And the last widget, I will add this image marker. I will use the ESP loader number two. Temperature, air, and soil. Okay. And then here, I believe I need to select a device that is called settings. Okay. Select settings and also I will put test tree. Okay, click and create. And here we will need to add some layers. Click on edit widget. I will add some widget here. So I will add this image in. That is great for our applications. Click on save. And then I will add some pin in this location. I will select my device and uh, click on save. You can see here, if you click on this icon, you will see the variables for soil, temperature, and air. But I want to see one imagines. So let me edit this widget. And uh, here in the options, I check the allow to add an uh, info image here. Click on save. Click on edit here. Click on edit ping. And here where we will need to add this image to our files. Uh, well, in order to upload a file or upload the images, you need to go to file sections and here you need to upload the, the image that you want to use. For example, I want to use this. Okay, it's here. Click on here, copy file URL, and then return to dashboard. Return to the widget. Click on edit. And then copy the URL here. Okay. So if you click on here again, you will see like a little representation of the do you want to see. Okay, let me edit a little bit the, the location. And also I want to change the title here. Temperature humidity line. And here, this is a clock. I will put only time. And here, I will put the title location. Okay. And then I will apply color settings to all my widgets. Click on apply. And here we are. We have our dashboard that is working with our sensor. You also can see in the mobile view where you can see the temperature, high humidity, soil humidity, temperature, humidity line, the time and the location. And everything is working well. Okay, so that's it. All right, so let's do a test to see how our sensor will measure air humidity, temperature, as well as soil moisture. For example, if we put in here, we will see a soil moisture around 21%. Probably to get a better measurement, uh, we should place in the middle of the plant. So 
let me let me change the location and the time interval for sending the measurement can also be controlled for example if you want to say battery you could set a longer time interval and here let me see well the soil moisture changed to 67 percent now let me add some water here to see how the values change and as you can see our device is responding well showing a soil moisture level of 100 percent which makes sense since the entire sensor is in contact with water all right guys we have seen that our sensor is working really well of course there is still room for improvement for example if you want to make it more waterproof and prevent water from getting inside you could use just an esp32 without a screen and seal the covers that is totally up to you as always all the two devices are called i free and available in the video descriptions if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and share it to help the channel grow and spread this knowledge to more people. That's it for now, see you in the next one. Bye.